turned into me just full on crying, melting down, saying, I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. You do know you don't have to compete, right? Today is a little bit of a different one. I want to talk about something a little bit more serious, um, a bit of a mindset thing that I'm going through at the moment. I think a lot of the time you see me very enthusiastic, very happy, very excitable, um, prepping for competitions, being really excited about competitions, being very motivated, going into win, those kinds of things. Um, but at the moment, I am just not feeling like that. And I think it would be wrong of me to do more YouTube videos of me just prancing around pretending I'm excited for everything when inside that's not actually what I'm fully experiencing um, and this isn't like a retirement video I'm not <laughs> saying I'm never gonna compete again or anything like that I just want to kind of go through where my mindset is at the moment because I know if I'm feeling this then other people will be feeling this and it's very kind of reminiscent of how I felt right back at the start of my strong woman career so Hopefully this will help one or two people um, and if it doesn't, at least you kind of know where I'm at. So since the start, well since Worlds last year, so last year I had the most incredible year or the last, the last two or three years to be honest, I've achieved things that I never thought I would ever achieve. So winning Europe's Strongest Woman last year was like a massive, massive goal for me. It was something like I was putting everything into that and nothing was getting in my way. And then podium at Worlds was what I wanted and podium at Worlds is what I got. Um, which was incredible and obviously there's a massive high that comes with that but there's also a bit of an emptiness afterwards um, and again I'm not sure many people talk about that feeling of like once you've accomplished something it's great but then life carries on as normal and nothing really changes that much uh, and obviously where I'm at now I've kind of hit all of my goals I've surpassed everything I ever thought I could do so then it starts to feel a little bit like what now and I felt a little bit about competitions this year like am I just competing because it's I've, I'm just in a routine of it it's what people expect me to do rather than because I'm excited for it so I haven't had that like burning I am so excited for this season I'm gonna win this I want to do that like I've just felt a bit meh I've struggled to get going um, obviously I won the UK and S the other week and that was great but I didn't really have much feeling afterwards and I don't want to sound ungrateful or any of those things this is just the reality of what I'm experiencing and feel like if I'm going to share my highs with you then I should share my lows and neutralities with you as well so that was where I was at obviously we've got Britain's Strongest Woman in four weeks and I know on the day I will absolutely love it because I love performing in front of a crowd and I know I'll enjoy it um, but for the rest of the year I'm just not really sure how I feel about it or how I'm going to approach it. Um, I'm fortunate that I have an amazing team of people around me. So uh, I have a check-in with my nutritionist, Vicky Owen, um, also known as the Tiny Titan every week. And she phoned me up yesterday because she had read that I wasn't feeling motivated. And initially it was a bit of a get your head out your ass, let's go. But it actually turned into me just full on crying, melting down, saying, I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I feel like I'm doing everything for everybody else because everybody expects me to and not because I want to. Um, and that really upsets me because I love this sport. And But I feel like I've kind of, at the moment, in a point where I'm really, really enjoying supporting my clients and seeing my clients succeed and climb the ranks. Like, I'm getting so much out of that. Fuck! Go on then, Em! And I also did a bit of commentating on the weekend and I really enjoyed that, a bit of refereeing. So I'm enjoying being involved from that other aspect right now. And like I didn't, I wasn't watching England at the weekend thinking, oh, I wish I was doing that. I want to join in. I was quite happy just sitting back. Um, but I do feel this big pressure to compete. But Vicky said to me, she just said, you do know you don't have to compete, right? Like you do have a choice. You do have an option. Um, and that really kind of lifted a load off me and it's it's something that I would say to my own clients but it's really difficult when you're in it to say it to yourself um so yeah that's kind of where my head is at with competing right now um as it stands 
I'm obviously going to be competing in Britain's Strongest Woman and I am looking forward to that and since having that conversation with Vicky I am kind of feeling a bit more relaxed about it. I had, uh, I spoke with my partner or fiance Matt about it yesterday as well and um, Official Strongman had put together, um, Joe from Official Strongman had put together a documentary last year of like my journey to Europe's and he put that on the telly, kind of made it look casually like he was putting it on but he obviously put it on on purpose and reminded me kind of why I do it and the f how I felt and how I feel when I am in the process and when I'm fully emerged and I've got one of our long-standing friends Mark Haydock is coming to Brits with his little girl Emily who looks up to us as like superstars and, and loves it all and kind of reminded me of all those things and it it's got me a little bit more excited for Brits um, I must say but in terms of the rest of the year I don't know what it holds um, I will likely compete in Europe's and natural worlds um, just because there's kind of plans already in place but it's not a definite like I realise now I am in control um, so I will make those decisions and whatever decision is best for me and same with worlds at the end of the year I know I came into the start of this season kind of everything was on worlds at the end of the year and I want to improve my podium position um, but now actually I just want to do what makes me happy um, and if that's taking a break from Worlds this year then maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe as I get into the season I'll get a new kind of love and want to do more so I, I don't know what the rest of this season holds whether I'll be competing or not um, but I do know that I'm going to be doing what makes me happy and what I choose to do not what other people expect me to do so yeah I think that's a bit of a summary of where I'm at at the moment and like I haven't been training as consistently as I normally would my nutrition hasn't been as consistent as it normally is I haven't been totally off the rails but I am going to train today and I am really excited to, to train today I'm not like like I say I still love everything about this sport um, but I just want to get back to doing things for me not because I feel like I have to so hopefully uh, I don't know if you've found this interesting, helpful, um, whether it's something you expect or don't expect. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've experienced anything like this um, or if it's something that you didn't realise was a thing. Let's, let's talk, let's chat. And I'm sure I'll be back with more training videos, whether that's for a competition or just me messing about. Uh, but if you haven't already got your tickets for Britain's Strongest Woman, I am wanting to compete there. Uh, and as I'm talking through this video, like I am really looking forward to it. it's an awesome lineup uh, awesome venue cool events so if you haven't got your tickets already get your tickets and then i guess you're just gonna have to watch this space for the rest of the season because i know what it holds if you haven't subscribed already subscribe and i'll catch you at the next one